yo, what's up everybody? It's your boy, do the John. How's it going, fam? What? Good? I hope it's good. I'm doing great. Thank you for asking. This is five scary videos that you can't explain. And, and yeah, if you like the content, please, if you haven't already, hit that sub button. Help our brother out. It's free. It's free. And then hit that notification bell to let you know when I post a video for you guys. And hit that like button. Let's get into it. And if you have a reaction video, that you if you have a video you want me to react to, let me know in the comments below or my email address. And I'll get to them before I get to my stuff in the next series of recordings. Let's go. Oh, God. Hello everyone, my name Hi. is Chris Books, and today we'll take a look at 5 scary videos that you can't explain. Today's video is brought to you by Hunter Killer. I haven't been this excited for a sponsorship before, and that's because I truly think this is an insanely creative and exciting concept for those interested in true crime. When you are at your... Number 5, here we go folks. Five. Chances are, when you are at your house, you probably feel the most safe. It is the place Sometimes. that you can go to for safety no matter what, and you feel a sense of warmth and comfort when you're there. But as this video by Reddit user one Ocelot 4 goes, home may not be the safest place after all. Take a close look at the following video, which was submitted to the infamous Ghost subreddit. What am I looking at? Wait, what was that? The uploader goes on to explain that no lights were on in the house at the moment, which makes sense when you watch the video and see that the room is pitch black, but it makes it strange when you consider the creepy shadow figure brushing across the wall before vanishing into thin air. Uh, Plus, the uploader further mentions that all of the window shutters were closed at the time of the video's recording as well. If that wasn't enough, he also shared a video where you can see three different surveillance cameras, proving his earlier points. Try your best to come up with any explanation in the comment section, as I would be curious to hear your possible theories on this. I don't know. I really don't know about that one. The Penhurst Asylum may be one of the most infamous places in the world for alleged paranormal sightings, as it has even been featured on this channel in the past. But has today really? we will be focusing on an entry submitted to the ghost subreddit by the user Wangenstein. I Rang went to the Pinhurst Asylum. Wangenstein? What kind of name is Wangenstein? Today, he explains, it's an abandoned mental asylum considered to be one of the most haunted places in the US. I started hearing weird noises, so I pulled out my phone. I caught something right at the end before I say, what was that? Let me know what you think. How's the door open? What was that? What was that? I don't see nothing. What was that? The strange rustling noise startles the uploader and causes him to wonder what it was that he just heard. Obviously, it could just be something as easily explainable as another explorer in the building making a bit of noise. But it could also be scary video evidence of the sounds of ghosts living in the Penhurst Asylum. Uh, There's really no way of truly knowing. I thought I was looking for something. I don't see the source of the sound. User Aesthetic Moonchan 
published the following clip over to my very own Sir Spooks subreddit, where I encourage you to share any of your paranormal videos that you have for a chance to be featured on a video just like this one. The uploader goes on to say that this video was taken by his mother as she catches a dog walking by and urges us to pay careful attention to the dog. But the thing is, she didn't even have a dog. This makes the uploader claim it to be a ghost dog. Take a look. I'll be the judge of that. Whoa. Let's see if I can pause it at the right moment. You see the head right there, right? Right there. Where's the body? We can see the body, but it's kind of fainted. Or you can see right through it. This is definitely one of those videos that is incredibly creepy and is extremely hard to come up with a concrete answer as to what exactly happened. In ah, it's a ghost dog. It seems that most of the comments on this video agree that the dog was behaving in a creepy and unnatural manner. With one person saying that he thinks that his hind legs look longer than the front legs. Other people have said that they don't believe this to be a dog, but rather something else crawling by. Perhaps it could be a person crawling, or the ghost of a person. Either way, it does look quite odd. I don't see that being a person. When you take a job as a security guard, you understand the high risk that you are taking. Anything could happen at absolutely any moment, and you have to be prepared to handle the situation. However, some things may take these guards by complete surprise, as shown in this video uploaded to YouTube on April 5th, 2020. The video, which is filmed in a foreign country, features a security guard who can be heard saying something supposedly to the camera, as he okay, walks honestly, around the I don't area read that language, he's sorry. watching for the night. As he approaches what appears to be the bathroom area, he spots something that leaves him panicking and at a loss for words. No mames, wey, necesito que alguien venga, wey. Eh, se escuchan cosas, wey, y... No mames, cuchi, wey. No seas ojete, wey. No wey, mames. I don't see nothing. No mames, wey. Hay alguien, wey. A la verga. No mames. Su puta madre, wey. No mames. No mames. Whoa! No ma whoa, whoa! Fam, did you see that? No mames. Watch this again. Just a brief, brief moment. You can see what some claim to be small ghost-like fingers wrapping around the wall, which is more than likely what this guard saw and got extremely frightened by. But in my opinion, this looks more like the creepy face of a ghost. It does look like a face. I would like to think that most of us would have a similar reaction if the same thing happened to us, especially That's tonight, a face. when you have nobody else around you to help. Oh my god. That just give me chills. Look at that. Right there. That's a face. That's not no hands. That's a face. No oh boy. For many, one of the most fascinating creepy urban legends out there are those known as humanoids. Small Humanoids? creatures that look human, but are just slightly off, giving those that view them the chills. On the subreddit Humanoid Encounters, user XBSSeekerX shared a video suggesting that he caught a humanoid on camera and wanted to share it with the world. The video, which was filmed in Saskatchewan, Canada, showcases somebody outside flashing their light on a certain area seemingly waiting for something to happen to show the viewer. For a short while, nothing seems to happen, 
That is, however, until something incredibly bizarre and highly frightening starts to make an appearance on camera. Although nothing crazy happens here, this piece of footage will definitely make you question a lot of things. The creature that was caught on camera here certainly looks small enough to be a humanoid, and since it is as small as it is, what else could it possibly be? This reddit- That's a kid! Oh, no, 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 no. That rock is big enough to hide a kid. That- and it's further away, obviously it's going to be smaller. It, it's a kid, uh-uh. That, that's a kid. I'm sorry, but that's a kid. I don't believe, I don't buy that one bit. But thank you so much for watching this video. It means a lot. And yeah, I stream Monday to Friday. I travel to live. Let's do the John. 9 a.m. to 2 p.m. Hope to see you in the live streams. And I hope to see you in the comments. So much love. Love you guys. And you are loved.